this problem we have a spaceship or a spacecraft um, or a rocket um, that then um, a detaches from a large um, fuel tank and we want to see how um, draw impulse momentum uh, bar graphs for the situation now in a previous problem they actually gave us some numbers for this I'm not sure if they were supposed to reuse them for um, for this case but regardless, this is just kind of a schematic representation of what's going on here. So um, these numbers aren't really that important. So the first thing we want to do is, is look at the rocket and the fuel tank as a system. Um, and so there's no external impulses acting on this system. And so initially, the, the rocket will have, or the, the fuel tank will have some momentum, and the rocket will have some momentum. Um, in the previous problem, they said that the fuel tank was that was twice as massive as the rocket, so I that's why I have a smaller bar here for this momentum. Um, they're going at the same speed, but they have different masses. And then once the once the fuel tank gets discharged, um, its momentum will drop. Um, might become negative, might stay positive. I'm not depending on you know. How, how things work out and then the momentum of the rocket will increase because in the situation we need to have that the sum of these two things equals the sum of these two things so as long as this decreases this has to increase um, likewise if this increases this would have to decrease and that's what we have in the second case when we talk about how to get the rocket to slow down so now we have a situation where we say we eject some fuel, and so they both have the same velocity to begin with, but I'm assuming that the fuel that's being ejected is has less mass than the rocket, so it has lower inertia, uh, momentum. But because it's ejecting the um, fuel in the correct direction anyway, um, or thrust in the correct direction, um, it would increase the momentum of the, um, of the fuel which means that the momentum of the rocket must decrease and that would be a way to slow the rocket down by increasing the momentum of the fuel by ejecting some of it making this bar this bar bigger than this bar so this bar has to be smaller than this bar again the sum of these two things has to be the sum of these two things now they said just look at the rocket as the system and in that case now we do have an impulse because we have an impulse acting on the rocket from the fuel being ejected and in in that case again if we have if we want to make the rocket move faster we need a positive impulse from the fuel and that would be like in the first case in the previous system um, where this impulse is essentially um, you know kind of kind of this this whole uh, momentum the part of the momentum here basically gets collected into an impulse um, because we're now no longer looking at the fuel system and in the second case when the rocket slows down again we have an impulse in the negative direction so that the momentum is smaller in the final the final momentum is going to be smaller than the initial momentum and again that's kind of the uh, looking at a lumping of um, of these two terms okay um, and again that would be kind of like this uh, sorry this minus this would be the impulse that would be over here that would be a negative impulse causing the rocket to slow down 